Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Venom Vlog. And I just wanna quickly say, you know, thank you for being so patient with me. I know I haven't put out a lot of videos lately. I've been recording some, and then some of them I scrapped for various reasons, either audio problems or whatever. I gotta get some new equipment at some point. But right now I'm focusing on Ace, our rescue dog that we rescued about 18 months ago. Uh, we found out that he has cancer and it's in his urinary tract, in his kidneys and in his prostate, and there's no cure for it. So we're just trying to spend a lot of time with him take some photos, you know, take some videos, take them to the beach on some adventures. So we're, we're doing things like that, um, you know, to spend time with him before we have to make a really tough decision before things get really bad for him. So I appreciate you waiting and I'm not trying to open this on a downer. I just want to update you guys on everything that's been going on. And that's the major thing in my life that's been going on apart from, you know, switching and all that stuff and, and, and balancing everything. So thank you so much and enjoy the episode. We are Venom. In today's episode, I want to talk about Arcbound. This is a new comic book that was announced at New York Comic Con, which was really cool. Tom Hardy's involved as a creative collaborator on this with Scott Snyder, you know, famous for his Batman run and a lot of other great stuff he's done. And then we also have Frank Thierry, who I'm a huge fan of, so I was really excited to see his name on this project. And then we have Ryan Smallman, who's doing the artwork on this, and all the art I've seen so far has been tremendous. So I'm really interested in this. It's a big collaboration between these four gentlemen and some other parties and stuff, and they created this Arcbound universe. And you can follow them. There's their Instagram account. There's their Twitter or X account. You know, follow them. Check them out. They don't have a ton of followers right now, but I know it's going to grow, and it's going to, you know, as it spreads and as the word gets out there, and I want to try to help spread the word because this seems kind of neat. It's kind of an amalgam of a bunch of cool little, you know, sci-fi ideas that I like and kind of all rolled into one. So we're going to go over a little bit of stuff but I don't want to give away too much. I want to encourage you to go check out the website and some of the other places I'm going to mention here. I'm going to put links down below. So please go follow them on social media so you can get updates directly from Arcbound. Follow the people that are involved with this. You know, follow Tom, follow Scott, you know, Frank, uh, Ryan, everyone. And then also check out some of the stuff that I show on, you know, on this episode, but then link to other channels. So please go check that stuff out too, uh, because, I, you know, they're spreading the word. I want to help spread the word. And I want to, you know, raise more, I put more eyes on this if I can, you know, try to get there out there as much as I can with the small reach that I have. So with this book or this project, it's a 12 part comic book that's called Arcbound. And this is going to set up a world or universe that all these people are going to create together. And they're probably going to bring in more people as the world expands and stuff. And that's very exciting. You know, who doesn't want to be at the ground level of something? And if you saw their booth at Comic-Con, man, oh man, are they putting some money into this. That is a big, awesome booth with amazing artwork that they had up there. And they also have a website that is very, very cool. I'm going to show off some footage here from the website where you can move around the spaceship and click, you know, different screens and stuff and learn about the characters. Uh, you have Kai, who I think is based kind of on Tom Hardy and uh, is like a commander type guy who's uh, essentially a Spartan or stormtrooper, if you want to call him that, like Halo, like Master Chief. He's like a, a total badass. And uh, and he's loyal to this empire called Zinatech. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, Zinatech may not be as righteous or whatever as they say they are and there's a, a group called the shadows or something going on behind the scenes kind of reminds me of the court of owls or illuminati type stuff um and they're after this uh, you know uh, fuel source called chromium which you can use for fuel and other things so that kind of reminded me of spice a little bit from dune so it has a lot of these cool elements all tied together uh and then kai is kind of our catalyst into this story where it seems like he may be falling away from you know his belief structure and his you know his devoutness to this Zenitech corporation or, or group. So you have him, you have Xander, War, uh, Grush, uh, Lyra, I, and I, I might be mispronouncing some of these because I haven't heard them said out loud yet. So if uh, you need to correct me, please do it in the comments down below. And I think Lyra is a character that is um, with Kai, like they're romantically involved and they, you know, have dedicated themselves to this organization or this, you know, this uh, belief system, Zenitech, whoever they are, this empire, uh, they're kind of you know, dedicated to them. And this kind of splits them a little bit because she's still devout to them, but she really loves Kai and Kai loves her, obviously, but he doesn't want to be part of this empire anymore after he learns about some things. So really cool. That's kind of a, a neat a twist to throw in there. Maybe a little Romeo and Juliet. Well, not really, I guess, Romeo and Juliet, but I mean, we see that other spy movies and stuff like that do things like this, but Seeing it all pulled together, I'm, I'm interested, especially with the talent involved. I'm really interested in checking this out. And then the, they have to 
face off against this Dr. Zahn guy, who I'm sure there's other things. Like I know war seems to be like this robot thing that can annihilate almost any threat that comes to the Empire. So that might be, you know, an obstacle that Kai and his team have to get over um, when he turns against them. But then Dr. Zahn was someone who was like exiled from the Empire or, you know, this the, the planet because it's like a dystopian future and stuff. So Dr. Zahn was exiled and he's going to come back into the story, I guess, in a big way. So yeah, check out the website, uh, check out some of the photos I'll put up here. I found on the Arcbound the Twitter account or X account uh, that has the booth and the panel and stuff. So you got, or they had panel information because they had a panel there and I didn't get to see it. I haven't seen any footage of it, uh, but I did catch this footage. I'll just show a few seconds of it from Bada Boom Podcast. And I want to give them a big shout out because they had some of the cleanest footage that I've seen of that booth. So I don't know what he was shooting with, but it came out really great. I loved your footage. So there's a few seconds of it. I hope you enjoyed that. But if you want to see the full like two minute video that Bada Boom posted and they're short, I'm going to put a link to their channel down below. Subscribe to them and check out that video. It is really, really cool. You see Tom signing autographs along with Scott and everybody and Frank and Ryan. They had five variant covers for an ash can, which is like a small version of the comic. Uh, there was regular printed ones and metal printed ones. So again, they're sinking a little bit of money into this to kind of get this started here. And then they're going to launch a Kickstarter, which I'll talk about here in a second, uh, very soon to kind of help you know, um, I guess recoup some of that spending, I imagine, because it looks like they spent quite a bit, but then also to pay them to, fi you know, finish the series and everything. So I'm on board. I think it's cool when the Kickstarter comes out, I'll probably back it for sure. Um, but you had Clayman, Ryan Smallman, uh, Tyler Kirkham, uh, Dan Panosian, and Ryan Otley all do the five covers that were at, uh, you know, at New York Comic Con, which you can find on eBay. Uh, some people are trying to sell them for $500 for the whole set signed by all four gentlemen. That's a actually a pretty good deal. Um, but then there's some people that are trying to sell them for like a hundred bucks a piece, not signed. There's the metal ones that people are trying to sell for $2,000 that are signed. So yeah, there's, <laughs> there, there's people out there trying to capitalize on fans like me, but I just don't have the money to, to get any of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I was hoping I could find a friend who went there to get me an ash can. But unfortunately, I, uh, I knew some people that went, but they were all working. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm not going to ask you to leave your booth or something to go get a, a comic book from me that could take you all day to get because lines and, you know, everything like that. So, I, you know, so I'll tr maybe I'll buy one on eBay at some point, but not while they're $100 or $500. Um, but this is going to launch in the spring of next year, 2024. Like I said, there's a Kickstarter that's coming out. It's on their website and they said coming soon. So I imagine that's how they're going to fund most of this uh, series and maybe at least the first six issues and see how it does. And if it you know does great, they go for the next six and then they're going to release it independently um, outside of that, maybe in comic stores through you know some distributor or maybe they'll do it, distribute it themselves. We'll see. But they have a good team. The website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get more information. Um, you can follow them on social media. Like I said, I'll put the links to that down below. And um, yeah, it's just really, just really cool. And I just, I'm into this. It looks like a neat concept. Like I said, it looks like an amalgam of a lot of things, you know, things I like. And for that reason alone, plus Tom's involved and Scott and everybody and Frank, especially Frank, I love Frank. So for me, I'm on board with this. I'm going to definitely check it out. And I'll, when it comes out, I'll get the Kickstarter. When it comes in the mail, I'll do an unboxing. We'll do a whole little side show where we just focus on the Arcbound universe and kind of see where it goes from here. But, uh, but I'm going to have this as a Venom vlog episode because sometimes we talk about things that Tom does outside of the Venom movies on this show as well. And this is one of them. And speaking of which, the uh, SAG After Strike is still going on. So Venom movie does not look like it's going to come out at the original date for next year. So I imagine at some point we'll hear about a, a pushback for that. Um, and then also the Bike Riders movie, which Tom is in, along with Jody and Austin and uh, Jeff Nichols, I think is the director of that movie. Uh, this whole uh, Norman Reedus is in it and uh, Michael Shannon looks awesome. Like based on a true story, I think, uh, or loosely based on a true story. And it was supposed to come out in August and they pushed it back to December. And now it's taken off the block right now and they don't know when they're going to release it. So just be patient. Uh, you know, we'll have some stuff soon, I'm sure, with Tom in it. But for now, starting tomorrow, we're just going to be doing you know, Spider-Man 2 video game playthroughs with uh, with Venom in it. Obviously, it's going to be a different Venom than the one you're used to. I, you know, I've been holding some secrets for a while now, so I will finally get to talk about them as we play the game. So if you want to hang out with us live, I would say come over to my Twitch channel and talk with us there as we play through the game. And then, you know, for those rest of you, I'll edit those into smaller chunks and I'll put them up here on the channel for Venom Vlog episodes. And those will probably make up the next, you know, 15, 20 Venom Vlog episodes. And comic book wise, I'll let everything else just kind of fall on the wayside. I'll, I'll stack up some books, get them all ready. And then I'll just do, you know, group reviews 
after we finish Spider-Man 2. And I think that's the best way I can handle it. And then after that, no more comics. Hopefully the SAG strike ends and we get movie news at that point and, you know, everyone's settling in and getting back to work and, uh, and you know, like I said, providing for their families and stuff. And then we'll talk about anything we hear from that point on. And that's what the focus of the Venom vlog will be after the new year will just be about Venom 3 news. And that's pretty much it. We won't talk about comics or merchandise or any of that stuff anymore. So uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much. And that's just to give me more time to do Seek at Night. And then also um, probably some recovery time with Ace because after we make some tough decisions coming up, I'm going to probably need some time to disconnect again, like like with Echo when that happens. So I appreciate again all your support, all your uh, patience with me, and we will have more episodes to you very soon, including tomorrow over on Twitch. So we'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching the show, and make sure you follow ArcBound. Uh, I can't wait for more information to come out on this, and I will share it with you guys when it does. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.